All right, what is going on today, guys? Tomcat here, and today we are back again in Need for Speed, and today we're going to be doing a, a few more missions, advancing in the career, and trying to get a little bit closer to our, um, to some of our, uh, our, our further on mission unlocks, and the first thing we need to do is go back to the garage, grab Nakai-san's Porsche, and run the event that requires it. Now, that particular event, um, that particular event, as long as we can get that one done, uh, quick, we'll be able to advance in that career, and I want to be able to move on to where we can, um, start to, we'll pick up the phone on Robin a little bit later, but I also wanted to fix the Lamborghini, because the Lamborghini is a little bit, uh, beat up at the moment, so, I would say it's, uh, a trip back to the garage is definitely a good thing for all parties involved. So let's see. Grab another car. Nakai-san's Porsche. And now, yes, fine. Robin will pick up the phone. Hey, it's Robin. I'm set to drift. Guess who'll be there? Risky devil. Wanna join? It's gonna be good. Don't say no. Just come up. Alrighty then. We'll actually be over there as soon. We'll, we'll be over to that as soon as we get this uh, this mission done with Nakasan's car. Now I do want to see. Okay, we can't customize it, so it's already like visually anyway. It's already customized. We can't do anything to it, which is I, it's it's pretty much expected. But still, it's an absolutely gorgeous car. I love the RWB kits. I mean, some people they they kind of like to pick at the RWB kits because they're not like you know. A lot of the a lot of the times when they're built, they're used as very kind of like show car style vehicles. But sometimes, like if you wanted to, you could take an RWB kit and just use it to run wider wheels and tires, and you'd you'd be into like a, a really 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 fast car at that point. So let's go ahead and get up to the map and get into this race and see what happens. Come on then, load. There we go. All you gotta do is say, you know, come on, load up, load up, and then you're good to go. All right, let's see if you're ready to handle a ride like this. Shouldn't be too tricky, honestly. Shouldn't be too tricky as long as we stay, as long as we keep our line tight and we stay focused. Oh, there's the nitrous. I missed having that on the Lamborghini for sure. Nice, decent progressive oversteer. I'm liking this. I'm liking the sound of it too. It's really sweet. And this is definitely action nitrous. Ow. <laughs> I was like, ow. Why did I do that? The steering is twitchy in this car. It's very twitchy actually. Come on, come on, come on, come on, get... Catch Amy! It's like that one elusive Pokemon. Oh, nearly there. Evening! Goodbye! Oh! Did not... What?! I didn't... Okay, that was extremely sloppy, but uh, for one, I did not anticipate that corner being that tight. It was like, down the off ramp, and right! Ow! Oh my god. Why are we messing up all of a sudden? Literally, like, we just ran some, a bunch of really good runs in the previous episode, and then now, all of a sudden, it's like, oh, and by the way, you're gonna hit everything. We hit every apex, literally. Not, not, not more like not touched every apex, we actually legitimately hit, like, c had a collision with every apex. out of 23 if we if we're able to actually pull away and, and, and win this race I'll be really surprised because I'm even gonna say it like I am not happy with my own performance in this race there's no way although we are gaining ground you can definitely see it like if you're watching the map we're really gaining ground on Amy 19 oh geez oh come on come on come on come on we could actually do something here. Yes! Yes! 
Oh my god, 22 out of 23. Dude, that's the finish. I know I wasn't happy with my own performance in this race, but it's okay, because we still won! That was legit. Gotta post the dash cam. Sweet. Now, what we are going to do is we are going to head back to the garage. And I'm not sure if I'm either going to sell the Lamborghini and get something else. Or, like, I don't know. It's, it's starting to make me wonder because I used the Lamborghini for the last episode. And I like to keep, I like to switch up my cars really, really often. But at the same time, that never really gives you a chance to get used to one specific car. Which can also be a drawback, so... I'm not sure. I, I kind of think I want to sell, I, I want to sell the Lamborghini for now. And build maybe a... Uh, let's see. Yeah, we're gonna sell the Lamborghini. And we're gonna build a... I don't know, maybe a, um... Maybe a GT3. Or no, they're an FRS, <laughs> dude. We could, we could, we could build that out the roof with how much money we have now. Do an R32 Skyline, or an Evo E46. Do an STI. Hmm. You know what? Let's do a Subaru STI, not an M3, a Subaru STI. Thank you very much. Because literally, like, I have not built a Subaru STI yet. And the thing is, since we have so much cash to play with now, we can go crazy on this car. In fact, let's do our performance upgrades first and get those out of the way, get those done. Intake done. Let's see, 31 by 10 intercooler. Intake manifold, large throttle body. Let's see, fuel rail kit. So much stuff we can do. Turbo E-Hybrid. And aftermarket wiring. We're already up to like 546 horsepower, so... 563. This is going to be one hell of a fast STI. Engine block, let's see. Oh, what? Elite tuning ready built block. Holy crap, did not even know we had that unlocked. Cam... And heads. Let's see. Unequal length, uh, unequal length header. Oh, sorry. Well, wait a minute. Oh, we can claim the full race exhaust. Yes. I'm like, yeah, we're claiming that. We're claiming that. Time refill, 10 pound nitrous. Adjustable suspension. We're almost done to make this thing a fully, fully built. Fully built car. Almost 800 horsepower. This thing's gonna be a monster. Gonna need some stopping power for that, <laughs> for that though. Handbrake, fully adjustable handbrake. And sway bars will be adjustable. And now we have a fully built STI that looks stock and so it's a, really a sleeper. But now, well, we'll do the handling tuning later because now we do a Varus wide body kit, which, mm, yeah, you know what? It's gorgeous. We're going to do a Varus wide body kit. The Varus kits are usually always, like, absolutely beautiful. All the way down. Track width in the front. Oh, wow, that's wide. Like, really wide. <laughs> really, really wide. Track width in the rear. We need to bring that out, too. That'll work. A little bit of front camber. Can't really do much on this car, to be honest. And let's see. Need that TC license plate, yo. <laughs> VTEC. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, no. You know what? Actually, you know what would be cool? would be really cool on this car. Let's see. Hmm. Where's it? Dad. What? Oh, okay. Oh, well, never mind. Didn't realize that. Didn't realize that was like a limitation, but that's okay. Because we can still, I can still build this thing the way I want to build it. It was just like, I kind of wanted to do it a certain way, but it's okay. Let's see. Work emotions. Kind of want a set of Cosmos wheels on this car. 
Let's see. I like these. The XT, um, or no, no, the XT 206Rs. Or, mm, I actually like the XT 006Rs a lot, too. Change size, bring them up. And for paint, we'll, we'll think about paint later. Um, because I want to get the, I want to get these wheels on the back first. And then we'll think about paint. Where's Cosmos? XT 006Rs. Now we can do the color. So, let's see. Primary paint. We'll just apply to all, because we'll change this later on anyway. So, I'm not sure actually which part the secondary actually does, so. We'll just apply to all. I'm actually kind of liking the red wheels on the World Rally Blue. I think that looks actually really, really cool. I mean, it's not what I was originally going for. But it's kind of okay with me. Let's see. Stretch Toyos. Uh, idlers. Kumos. Need for Speed. Falcon Tires. Where are... Just that standard stretched. Speed Hunters. Let's go with regular uh, Toyos because we're doing a... We're doing a more race car style build with this car. And I don't want to really go for the stretch tire look because that's more of a stance thing. Let's see. Toyo's regular. Toyo Proxus. Yes. Those are actually really good tires. They're super sticky. I'm loving the look of this thing. This thing is going to be really fast. I'm, I'm really anticipating a lot of performance out of this car. But let's go ahead and take it out of the garage and see what we can do with it. No. Out of the garage. Yes. Yes. That's what I asked for. <laughs> And I know a lot of people probably wouldn't leave the stock color, but to me, if you're... Oh, no. We're going to have to go back in the garage. We forgot handling tuning. Dang it, we forgot handling tuning. Wow, I can't believe I forgot that either. I said I'd come back to it too, but the problem is, I'm like... That's always like one of the first things I do. So, if I don't do it first, then it's like, uh... Uh, I don't know what I've forgotten. I might as well leave the garage, and then I leave the garage, and then it's like, oh, I know exactly what I forgot to do. Max speed for as long as we can. <laughs> we dare you. All right, so. Let's use our actual handling slider, move it over to drift, and then let's see. Steering response. We'll leave that where it is, but I want a really wide steering range. And a little bit quicker of the steering response. More, yeah, more pressure in the front. I think we're going to want that on this car, too. And then we're going to confirm that. And we'll see how that setup does. We'll see how that setup does. And we'll go from there. Because a lot of these cars, you know, they're going to be a work in progress anyway. So I want to take this thing around, do some drifts, do some, uh, do some circuit races and sprint races. And see how it does across the board. Because I want to use this car for... Generally, when I when I build a car in Need for Speed, I use it, I like to use it for everything, because I'll have generally one or two cars, and I'll sell one and build another one, and then sell another and build another. So it's kind of how I like to play the game. And let's see, let's probably let's just go ahead and run these drift events with Robin and Risky Devil. That's a sprint race. This is a drift contest. Titan tricky if you want to master Gymkhana. This car would actually be great for Gymkhana. Not not just because not just because it's a Subaru. I mean, that plays into it quite heavily, but Lock it down. Here he is. Let's get going. Actually sounds well, it sounds properly good. That's weird. They like they start you off heading towards the wall. It's pretty quick. Okay, it's actually, wow. It likes to, excuse me, please. I'm only just drifting here, it's okay. Don't worry about me. Oh, fine, Amy will answer the phone. <laughs> Robin, you can't play all sides. I know, I know. Just, I, I there we go, now we're leading in points. Talk about this later. So, Noob, you hear? Travis has something for us. Maybe it's something big like last time. Come on, oh, oh, oh dear. Whoop. Problem. Yeah, sure. Oh, there we go, there we go, there we go! Cool. Trying to keep my combo going. Okay, dude. 
Get your ass over to the garage. Travis should be there. Sending out. God, Amy is pushy sometimes. She's like, get your ass over to the garage. And I'm like, excuse me, I'm racing here. There we go. Really working the combos in this car now. I need to use this thing for some Jim Connor runs. I really do. It would do great for it. I mean, I like the, the nice thing about it is that it changes direction really well, but you can keep your slides going too. So it's like kind of like the best of both worlds with, when you when it comes to speed and uh, to, to be able to go sideways and keep your speed up. Oh, we're destroying these guys' scores. Absolutely destroying them, just killing them. Ow. Well, we were destroying them until then. Come on. Stay out of the wall. That was a last minute, like, last minute touch of the e-brake. It's okay. Oh, man, if I had only just kept that line going just a little bit longer, that would have been a really nice drift. Can we pull 100,000? I'm not sure. I know we could pull 90,000. Oh, maybe not because we lost those points. Dang it. Ow, come on! Yes, there it is! There it is, had to get really focused for a second, I got quiet. And like, I had to get really, really focused for a second, but we pushed it over 100,000. We're more than double what the, op uh, what the opposition is pushing right now. Just by like by just a little bit, but still, 103,000 points. I am not uh, disappointed at all with that. That was a pretty sweet score. Yes, yeah, fine. I'll answer the phone. That was fun. A lot more to do, so don't bail yet. All right, now up next, we got a sprint race. I was like, I said sprint race, and I was like, I really hope it's a sprint race, because I said it was a sprint race. I didn't look, but I said it was, and then I saw it out of the corner of my eye, and I was like, thank God, it's a sprint race. Here he is. Let's Wait a minute. Is this the same event? This is the same event? Yes, it is the same event we just did. No, not restart. I wanted to leave, because I went to the wrong... Oh, wow, that's a fail. That's a huge fail on my part. Holy crap, guys. That's... Wow. I cannot believe I did that. So now, once we get to the sprint race, I'll, I'll make sure and check my surroundings before I start. <laughs> this is different. Now we can start the sprint race. One for all. Yeah, these guys are going down. We got a near 800 horsepower Subaru STI. They're 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 done. Excuse me. Oh my God. A little bit of drafting later. S13. Just Robin to pass now. Hello. Oh. Stay focused. I mean, I know they're all ahead of me right now, but still, stay focused. How many checkpoints we got? Ugh, only 20. That's a pretty short race. I mean, it depends on how far they're spaced out, but if they continue to be spaced out at this particular rate, then that's a short race. What was that? I mean, I know the car was slightly on the wall, but dang. Oh, there's a shortcut for you. I know we can catch back up. I know we can. I see them up here making mistakes, too. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. A couple more of you guys to pass. Let's go, come on. What? 
I don't know if this car is magnetized to walls or if I'm magnetized to the wall today. I don't know what, what's going on. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Oh, come on. oh don't hit the. Damn it. God, this is frustrating now. What is this, 20? Nope. Normally, I don't have to restart, but <laughs> that was a case where I, I think it was necessary. Now, as far as the next time we run this race, I really need to not only stay focused, but not let the fact that somebody cut me off try to, like, basically ruin my line. Alright, later. Oh, come on, there we go. Already took a couple of, couple people out. Two more people to take. Come on, take down. I was, wow, I was looking at them and not the... Dang it. I was looking at them and not the course. And that's a bad idea because you'll crash. Oh, 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 jeez. I should have just slightly bounced off the wall on that one. I think it's because I set the steering speed so high that, like, my car, the second you touch the steering, it's like, boom, I'm gonna go that way. Boom, I'm gonna go that way. Later. Ooh. Okay, come on. We may have slightly cut the track, but it's okay. set up for this corner. I'm hard on the brakes. Needed the e-brake. Problem is, if you launch yourself off of that hill, like off of the crest of that hill, you're done. You're going to the, into the wall or going into a pillar on that bridge. You're done. Boost out of it. Boost out of it. Oh, oh. oh, 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 oh. Excuse me. Oh, I hate where they put that truck. Oh my god, I hate where they put that truck. That truck bugs me. But it's okay, because it's short race, and we're across the line, and we're done, and we won. Wow. That was crazy. <laughs> that was crazy. What the hell? That was crazy. Oh my god, she feels the same way. See you out there. Now, what do we got coming up next? Well, I'll tell you what we got coming up next. We're probably going to either build or tune the STI a little bit more or sell it and get something else. But if you guys enjoyed this episode of Need for Speed, then don't forget to leave me a like. Tell me in the comment section down below what you guys thought of it. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe for more. And I will see you guys in the next one. Talk to you guys later.